one of the steps in the transaction uh, in buying a, buying a house, residential home, is what's called the option period. Okay, the option period is kind of exactly what it sounds like. It's the period where the buyer has the option to back out of the deal, no questions asked. They don't even have to give a reason. Okay, um, option period is usually somewhere between seven to 12 days. That kind of depends on maybe the market conditions, but it mostly depends on how big is the home and how many features does it have. If you've got a big house and, and the reason why is the option period is primarily when the buyer gets to do all of their due diligence and order inspections on the home. I'm going to do another video about what the inspections are for um, and what you're looking for in inspections. But the bottom line on the option period is seven to 10 days, maybe 12. If there's a, if it's a big house with a bunch of features like pools and stuff like that. But the option period is where the buyer has offered a contract, the seller has accepted it. And now we've got this period of time where the buyer can order inspections on the home and make sure all the numbers still work. They can just basically, they're committed to the house, but they're going to get a status report on the house based on the inspection. And they can mull that over, maybe try to negotiate some repairs, talk about that later. But ultimately, it's that period of time that they can say, yes, let's move forward. Or, you know what, changed our minds and we're going to back out of this deal. Now, to secure the option period, typically the buyer pays what's called an option fee. And that's usually about $250 to $500. It depends on the transaction. And they, if they decide to back out of the transaction, they forfeit that money. Now, that's different from earnest money. Talk about that in some other video. But to get the option period, they put forth just a little bit of money. And if they decide to back out of the transaction, they lose that money. And that's why it's only a few hundred dollars. If they move forward with the transaction, that money goes towards the deal. It's credited back to them at closing. But anyway, that's that period of time that both the buyer and the seller are kind of, it's, it's, not, a, it's not a done contract because the buyer still has the option to back out if they want to.